Hello and welcome back to another SQL tutorial. We are learning structured query language. This is video number 24 of this series, 24th video. In the last few videos, we have been practicing with some functions, set functions or aggregate functions as they are known as. And one of the functions was sum. And that's how a function is written, name of the function, and then parenthesis, the value is placed in here. We, we know that all functions are supposed to return one value. If you don't group data according to a certain criteria in the table, the whole table will be returned as one group and one value will be returned for the whole column. So if I use some function for this column here without using group by clause, a sum of all values for this column will be returned as a result of this sum function. We grouped data according to department numbers in sum function and count function and we were able to get three values one value for each group one value for department number 10 one value for department number 20 and one value for this employee that does not belong to any department number we know that a function is supposed to return one value for each group what if you want to use this function to add salary plus commission to find out the gross income of an employee you would want one value for each row so you can find out the amount of money that is being earned by each employee so what you do we can do a little bit of cheating here we can say select some salary and we can add a plus sign here and C O A L E S C E coalesce function to change null values into zeros. Some commission, which is the name of this column, comma zero. You want to replace null values by zeros and bracket close from EMP table, which is the name of this table here. And you want to say group by EMP and O. We know that. EMP and O is a primary key. It is a unique identifier for this table and employee number cannot be repeated and the column cannot contain a null value because it has primary key restrictions. What it means that the query will return one value for each row. So it will group by employee number. You can also say EMP and O here. So you want to display employee number and then the result of this function which is a sum function and you want to group it by employee number so you will have one value for each employee which will be a sum of salary plus commission. Okay so run this and you have employee number in front of each employee you have a sum of his salary plus commission in front of you now you can also change this you can say this is the gross income this is known as alias so you're changing this heading here to make some sense select all this run and what you're seeing here employee number and his gross income which is a sum of salary plus commission whether they're earning salary whether whether they're earning commission or not this is the the gross income for all employees in your table now the query might seem a bit complex and tedious if you want to use this query again and again you can make your life easier what you can do you can convert this statement into a view and the command is create view you have to give it a name you can say g cell as and then the rest of the statement can run as it is if you run this you will create a view by the name of g cell which is cross salary and if you create a view this becomes very important because this will become the name of the column in this view okay 
so the view will be generated with two columns one will be employee number and then the result of this function here with this uh, column name so we'll run this view created if you look at your database okay so data dictionary view which is known as catalog cat you should have a view by this name here g cell run and then you have a view by the name of g cell so our database now has two views two tables and one sequence the total number of database objects in our database is now five now you can simply select asterisk from g cell and it will actually run this query every time you run this query it will actually run this a view is a logical structure it does not store any data on its own it just stores query now once you have created a view you can use some other functions so you can say maximum g income from g salary from g cell this is the name of the column so you want to find out the the maximum salary that is being paid to any employee and the result is nine thousand dollars now you can also try and find out the name of this person but you'll have to use subquery it's not time for us to use subquery but for the sake of interest i'll just show you what it is if you find it hard don't pay attention to it right now we'll come back to it last name we'll say f, f name which is the name of the column in, in in the employee table and l name last name of the employee emp and o from emp where salary in this is another uh, type of statement and we'll say select maximum uh, G income from G cell so we're running we're using a view and a table so subquery runs first it will result in this value and this value will be used to display the first name last name and employee number of the employee who is earning maximum income from this uh, in this view okay run this and Michael Jackson is the name of the person his employee number is 1007 who's earning $9,000 so you can also confirm that select asterisk from EMP our table is small enough for us to confirm our uh, the result of the data Michael Jackson is earning nine thousand dollars he's not earning any commission and his salary is more than sum of salary and commission of any other employee thank you very much and I'll come back again